riding off into sunset. Me and my girl. <laughs> Welcome back to the Steve Stomber YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be detailing how you can build this sidecar in four easy steps for under a hundred dollars. Now this video is dedicated to attaching the sidecar and going for a test spin on my normal bicycle. This is just a beach cruiser, but you guys are want to subscribe because the main goal is to attach this to my mini chopper right here. see how fast we can go, put my girlfriend in the side, and take us down to the beach. Now the first step here is to get your hands on a bicycle cargo carrier. Now I would recommend going to Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and searching for a used version, just because we're going to be stripping these down so it makes no sense at all to go for a new version. I personally got mine for $15, and I've seen a lot in the same $20, $30 range. Some people want $50, but you can always talk them down. So I'm not sure what brand or model of cargo carrier I have, but mine did have these crossbars that I thought I could have mounted the seat to, but they were slightly offset in their height, so I actually opted to put in a brand new bar. Now, unfortunately, this is made up with all aluminum, so I'm taking welding out of the question. I only have a flux welder, and it's nearly impossible to weld aluminum with a flux welder, so we're going to be going with bolts and just drilling holes to secure them. So the whole idea here was to have these rails, and the seat would actually go into these rails and attach. But I had a bunch of issues with getting these to align, mainly because I just measured them incorrectly. So they right! Which is amazing because I could have sworn I measured it like two or three times. So I scrapped that entire idea and I just went with this quarter inch thick steel that I had laying around. Now unfortunately, drilling through this is nearly impossible with a 20 volt drill. You do not want to do this guys. You really want to step up your drill game. I'm trying to step up my drill game. Subscribe, help me step up my drill game. Let's cut it down from like 30 minutes a hole to like, let's go for like 15. Reasonable. How's it going? Good. Have you guys seen my GoPro? No. Did I'm just kidding, it's on my head. It's a joke, sorry. I don't have my glasses on, I'm too old. <laughs> Now, if you guys love these bad jokes, throw me a like and encourage me to share my worst jokes with you. Now that we have our cross rails installed with this quarter inch thick steel, it's time to get to get our seat into place. Now, the trickiest part about doing this was holding the seat up, and not that it weighs a lot, but just holding it and then also trying to drop in the bolt at the same time and screw it in and keep it all aligned. I wish I had four hands or maybe a few Mr. Mises. Oh yeah! All right, so we got only three in, got an alignment issue here that I think three is good enough, honestly. Hold up, wait a minute. Boom, get in. And then Sometimes you have normal bikes and then you add on a side car. Who is? Damn. Riding off into sunset. Me and my girl. <laughs> How we doing? Loving it. So guys, this is short and sweet. Now this is only gonna be part one of this build, part two of this build. It's gonna be attaching this to actually the mini chopper. Now unfortunately we've run into some issues on the mini chopper that need to be resolved. Dude, I'm so fucking did you see just what happened? Pedal fall, but I saw something else come off. Yep. What? Wait, what? Oh! Yep. Which I will cover in an episode very soon. I'm not sure how much of a detailed view you guys have gotten this, but I do have a video coming out that's going to be going through the entire build and how I set this up. But either way, subscribe, stay tuned for more. If you guys want to see more sidecar action, see us do a little bit of sending in it and some more drive tests, let us know. Drop a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.